Speakers, Oscar Bello. Good evening, City Council, Mayor, and uh, fellow Burbankers. Um, I'm here to uh, just tell you a little story. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, my wife found out that there was a cell tower going up over by uh, Avon and Jeffries. And uh, so she did the logical thing. She came up here to the uh, city hall, um, asked some questions, why, what, when. Uh, met up with uh, Jesse Brown. I mean, you all remember him. He used to work here at the city. And um, at some point, he got annoyed. He got annoyed and um, leaned in while she's holding the baby and tells her, hey, mom, you're not going to win. It's T-Mobile. Oh, she was flabbergasted. And not only that, she was angry. She was angry at the, uh, at the type of attitude that she received here, but she persevered. A couple of weeks later, we have some neighbors come up here trying to see the blueprints of this cell tower on Avon and Jeffries. Um, two retired couple, uh, long-term Burbank residents, and um, you know they, they pull out the plans, uh, but there's a caveat. You can't sit down. You have to, you know, Look at the plans up here, standing up with us, watching you. Um, although all around them, all around them, you see the developers, they're sitting down looking at their blueprints. Now, there's something sick here. There's something acidic, uh, uh, the relationship between the city officials and the Burbank residents. Now, let's look at the, what happened with this just last election. You have a group of neighbors getting together it's like a Norman Rockwell painting, getting together, barbecuing, going to each other's houses for dinner, having uh, Oktoberfest, having uh, chili cook-offs, and, and just being politically active. And what happens with that issue that we take on? The city somehow, or city officials, I should say, um, move $50,000 dollars to fight us on this issue. They violate the Brown Act. And, 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 and I'm telling you, there is something sick here. I mean, what is going on here in Burbank? I mean, to the point where the city officials feel they have to break the law in order to get to us, for reals? I mean, where's the fair play? So you know what, it's time. It's time that we get people up here. It's time that we get somebody with a legal mind. It's time that we get like a watchdog that will turn off these fires before they even happen. Somebody that can just see the conflagration before it starts and shut it off. We need to get somebody here like Greg Sousa. Mr. Sousa has a JD, he has a master's in law, and he's ready. He's ready to come up here and he's ready to defend us uh, uh, what's going on here in the city. We need some help here for Dr. Gordon and we need a 3-2 consul. Now, we, 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 uh, 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 in here we have, we have our, our own hero, we have the vet. You know, he's fought for us in Iraq. He's defended us in those sands of uh, Iraq. And now he wants to defend us here in Burbank. So it's time. You know what? He, he's been here. He, he's done his duty. It's time that we get Juan Guillen up here to defend us. It's time we get him here to defend us against this juggernaut that is the uh, Burbank political system. And not only that, to defend us against the insatiable appetite of developers. So I'm telling you, there is something going on here, and Dr. Gordon needs the help. We need a 3-2 consul. We need people to sign up for these commissions. We need people, and the only way it's gonna happen is if we stick together and get a 3-2 consul. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, there is something sick here. Because we have two residents that go to this meeting, the BHA meeting, the same people responsible for this $50,000 donation. They ask a couple of questions. Lo and behold, they shut the meeting down. And not only that, as they're shutting it down, one of the commissioners uh, wants to do a motion to amend the meeting notes from that very meeting where they donated the $50,000. There is something sick here in Burbank. Thank you.